Hi, my name is Joachim and I'm a minimalist, but I'm also a collector. Now, if you're scratching your head about that, let me tell you, it actually works. I'm here with this video today to talk to you about how I mend the two together and work around the physical stuff just as the philosophical mindset of minimalism and collecting. So when you hear the word minimalist, you probably think about a white space room with maybe one chair and maybe a vase or something. Pretty much an empty room, right? And when you hear the word collector, you think of toys, pop figures, comic books, anything that had any type of pop culture following, taking up a huge amount of space in one room, right? Both of the assumptions, of course, are stereotypes of what we think of it. But that isn't what collecting has to be. And just as there are different types of collectors, there are different kinds of minimalism. There isn't really a default setting to it. And there's no right or wrong on how people view minimalism either. Because minimalism is a way to find what oneself needs and enjoys. And it's sort of a search for happiness in my perspective, I would say. And since we all uh, enjoy different things, it'll look different ways. There are different ways people can enjoy and collect comic books, just as there are different ways that people can enjoy simple living. There are people that live in tiny houses and there are backpackers that only travel and live with the stuff that they can carry on their back and they're more intentful with things that they purchase, more intentful with their money and their space and their time. When it comes to me, I live in a one bedroom apartment with my girlfriend and she is definitely not a minimalist. No, she's definitely not. But then again, she doesn't have as much stuff as I do and she doesn't call herself a minimalist just because she has less stuff than me. And just because I'm a minimalist and someone has less stuff than me it doesn't make them a minimalist. It's so much more than just the physical stuff. It's also about the lifestyle and the mindset around it. One thing minimalism has done for me is to help me let go of possessions that I don't use or they don't serve as a personal sentimental item. And that has helped me to actually clear up some stuff when it comes to my own collecting with comic books and graphic novels. As some of you may know, I was away studying for two years and during those years I learned to live and scrape by with a student loan on an existential minimum of 850 monthly dollar budget. It got me to think of a lot of my expenses. So there were cutbacks on eating out so much in the week, home cook tastes better anyways, and if I wanted to afford to getting new books in, some of the old ones simply had to go. And that is something that I still hold on to today even after getting back to a higher, more regular paycheck. I made several videos on what I go through what I was thinking when I was letting go several of these books that I picked up. Another very helpful thing that minimalism has helped me with is circling around my books and the things that I use within my home. Like my cutlery and table sets. You know how everyone just hates doing their dishes? Now, don't get me wrong, I hate that too. But what I do love more than doing the dishes is having a clean space. So by simply having less cutlery and plates and make do with just enough, I can get by five or six meals before the dishes will have to get done. Just like with my spending on graphic novels each month, I never buy into more books than I can read. And therefore I can still circle back 
and reread and reuse the books that I already own. But let's say if I didn't do that and I bought into more things, I would be able to push that task of having to do the dishes or have the time to read all those old books that I already own. But it would just in the end result in a much more bigger dish pile and a much bigger reading pile. And once the task is due and no longer avoidable, because we keep adding new books in cutlery, or don't know where to start because it's just too much to read, reading isn't a chore like doing the dishes, but with the right amount of backlog, anything is a chore. But sometimes all you can do is just grab a book or grab that dish brush and get to it. So that is why I try to keep my supply in just the right amount for me so that I can circle around using my cutlery by not having that mountain of dishes and that's why I don't buy in too many books each month more than I can read so that I actually can circle around and get back to older books that I already have and want to rediscover those adventures and great storytellings and that has worked out really good for me in how I mend minimalism and collecting in one way. Another thing that minimalism has helped me with my collecting is that it has helped me to control the fear of missing out. And it has kept me from jumping on hype trains that seems to be taking off every week on social medias. I've been buying books for years and years and I always love reading new material. But with the stories and books that I kept, I felt that I never had any time to get back to them actually. Because I would always be busy reading all the new stuff that I was getting in. So with minimalism, I helped develop a mindset that helped me pick and choose the books that I was getting into my life and into my collection more intentful. I just stopped getting into the hype of the latest hot title or the must-buy book of the week by simply learning my own taste and what I liked. So I started to listen to myself first and other people second. And as I was getting in less books, thanks to me filtering out all the hype and everything that maybe I really didn't want to read or maybe just people talked so great about it so apparently I had to buy it. So I started buying less books each month but I was still reading in the same pace and I got more time over in the month to get back and start rereading my old books. As well as realizing that the people that don't take the time to read their books and are more on the hunt for new ones are the ones that are truly missing out. Another thing that I feel has worked well with my coexistence of minimalism and collecting is the financial benefits. When you no longer focus on getting more things and instead aim for less, you start to feel that the things you already have are enough. And in some cases, more than enough. And that is what happened with my graphic novel collection. I started selling off books that I reread and didn't feel that they lived up for a second or third reread and sold them off in order to regain some space and time in the future. And as that progressed, I started earning back money for selling things that didn't give me any personal value anymore. And by that, also my collection, when it was at that number of 900 plus books, started to fund itself. And I no longer necessarily had to put away money for my monthly pre-order on DCBS. I still discover new things about minimalism and simple living and how that can further my collecting habits. And I've recently actually started to digitize a lot of my old drawings and documents, which of course made me think about digital comic books. But I think that is all for another video in the future. Until then, thanks so much for watching this video, and I hope you liked it, and I hope I'll see you in another one. This is Joachim Comic Center, see you.